Wi-Fi was down for a few minutes, but we can do this on the phone. Uh, today, in this five Facebook Live, we're going to talk about gizmos and gadgets that go with our digital devices. And these are not exotic ones. Uh, these are ones that any ordinary person who uses digital devices might want to have around. So, but first we're going to have a little trivia quiz. Can you figure out what this is? It doesn't go with a digital device, I'll tell you that, but it does have a cord and connector. But look at that connector, that's a little different. If you have an idea, you might put it in uh, the comments below, see if you're right. There's the back, it's got some numbers on it. Maybe this will help. I'm going to, anybody got any ideas yet? Well, if you guessed, it was a flash reflector for an old fashioned flash bulb that goes with a 35 millimeter camera. You're right, it was my father's. It's probably 50 years old. And I have been um, cleaning, going through, and I haven't thrown it away for sentimental reasons, but I just thought it was kind of appropriate considering that we're talking about gizmos and gadgets. And he was, he loved the gizmos and gadgets for his 35 millimeter. So let's start. And if you have any suggestions as we go along, uh, please just um, put them in the comments because there are certainly a lot of gizmos and gadgets out there. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is really not anything digital or mechanical. It is simply the microfiber cleaning cloth. And this is what we're supposed to be using to clean our screens. Now, they won't disinfect for sure, but I did read that Apple was now saying that um, you could use a disinfectant wipe carefully on your phone or your iPad. Uh, you had to be careful, sometimes they're pretty wet and you don't wanna get your screen wet, but those will disinfect. Uh, this won't disinfect, but it does a good job cleaning. And uh, you can, often they come with eyeglasses, it's the same thing. So that's one of the uh, gizmos, gadgets, so to speak, that we should all have so that we are not scratching our screens. Now, this next one is an external charger. My goodness, everybody should have one of these. Here in Maine, we had a big storm on Easter weekend. It was not supposed to be big where I live, but it turned out to be, I don't know, eight, nine, 10, very inches of very wet snow. And uh, the only thing I was running out of power, I had, I mean, my iPad was charged, but you know, it was going down and the power was staying out much longer than it usually does. And so I was concerned. But fortunately, I had already charged this up. And they come with, this one comes with, it's got a USB port and a lightning, or I shouldn't say a port. It's got a USB connector and a lightning one. And I just had to plug it into my computer to get it fully charged. And my power is usually, usually only off a couple hours, but Last Saturday, it was off for hours and hours and hours. And of course, my iPhone was my only connection to the outside world. And I don't know, about 11 o'clock in the evening, I thought, I'm gonna run out of power. So I plugged it in my charger and it totally uh, charged up my phone. So I was all set. Now, there are all sorts of chargers. So you have to do your research. There are even, there are even solar charges that you can just put out in the sun and they'll charge and that would be handy. So just like when you know a storm's coming and you gotta get the bread and the toilet paper and the milk in, make sure you have a charger and you have it fully charged. They come in all sizes, you just need to do uh, your research on it. Now, here's another handy dandy thing. 
Okay, USB connector, something that looks like a light bulb. Let me show you. I had planned today to be using my computer, so this would have been very easy to demonstrate, but because uh, my Wi-Fi wasn't working for some reason, let me plug this in. So, if you haven't figured out, this is a little light. Uh, the USB goes into the port on the side of my computer, and I have a little light. I am a low light person. I don't have all the lights turned on at night, so this is great. Or if I want to work um, where there isn't electricity and my, my computer is fully charged, it's great. Or if uh, I'm doing it in bed and don't want all the lights on. So... Another kind of neat gadget, and it comes in, there are a couple of different settings on it. You can see it's very much brighter. So that's something to consider, especially if you use your uh, computer around other people late at night. Moving on, another gadget everybody should have. Is an external drive to back up their computer. Now, with an iPhone or an iPad, you have it set so it's automatically uh, backed up to the cloud anyway. And actually, you can set your Apple computer, your Mac computer, so it backs up. But just as a third backup is a uh, hard drive, external hard drive. Now, this is one of the things where you should do what I say and not what I do because I am terrible about plugging this into my computer. I mean, it's very simple. It's just a USB connector and uh, backing up so that I have my material in uh, a different place other than the cloud and other than my um, computer. So uh, again, you need to do your research. They come in all different sizes, all different prize, uh, prices. Uh, they work on all computers. So think about if you don't have an external drive for a backup, think about it. Now, this is kind of cool. I don't know if we're going to see it. It's a rack. Okay, and these legs expand and it's for using your iPad like in your lap or um, in bed. And you can stick it in. Can you see that? And it holds it so you can do it hands-free. And again, it's on legs. It's really convenient. You get tired of uh, resting your iPad in your lap or holding it. So another kind of cool gizmo gadget. And there again, there are a variety of these kind of hands-free uh, racks you just need to do whoops you just need to do your research moving on since i had my ipad a ipad here when i go to upgrade uh, i often don't get rid of my old ipad or my old phone simply because i teach adult ed and although i want an up-to-date device because somebody always comes in with the newest phone or the newest ipad and it's just enough different from my older one that i can't do anything with it um so i hold on to my old devices for teaching purposes however i use them for different things at home this becomes my alarm clock it stays plugged in all the time I don't have cellular service on it. I can't make a call, but it's connected to my house Wi-Fi. And uh, I know the alarm, even if I lose electricity, the alarm will always work because there will be enough juice in it to make sure it works. And um, it will also receive my texts, which sometimes is not a cool thing because they come in the middle of the night and it goes beep. I should turn off notifications. So I hold on to my old phone uh, as a backup, but also for other uh, uses. Again, I can play games on it um, because it uses Wi-Fi and it makes a great alarm clock. 
Now, my old iPad, what I did with that, I also keep this plugged in, and I have my Pandora app. Pandora is free music, and so I use it as a radio. And I don't worry um, about losing, uh, whether I'm sucking up juice when I'm using my newer one, because this is plugged in, it's across the room, uh, it's not interfering with the work that I'm doing on my newer iPad. So think about your old devices, how you might use them. And again, um, in this uh, environment with the virus, a lot of people are contributing or uh, giving their old devices to like nursing homes uh, and hospitals so that patients can get on FaceTime or Google Hangout or Zoom and connect with family and friends. So there are some uses uh, for your old devices and if they're just gathering dust. Now, what else do I have here? Oh, so last Christmas, my sister had old family, uh, not even Super 8 movies, going way back to the 1940s. She had old movies put together on a DVD. And um, I have a MacBook Air, so it doesn't have a DVD CD player. So what I needed to get was an external uh, CD DVD player. Again, it just plugs into my computer. Now, if your computer has um, a DVD player built in, then you certainly don't know, need this. But if you have an Air, you might want to consider uh, getting an external uh, drive so that you can play CDs uh, or DVDs on your computer. Now, here are two little gadgets that are kind of interesting. They're the same thing. They're disk drives or thumb drives, but they have two ports. They have the regular USB, but they also have the lightning. This one is a iEasy drive, and this one is a dual link. Has the same thing. Has a USB and then the lightning connector. Now what people use these for, uh, they can use them for external st storage. They also, because it's got the lightning, they can, by downloading an app to go along with the device, they can uh, transfer files from a computer to a digital device like a phone or uh, an iPad even uh, if there's no electricity or Wi-Fi available, because usually I just use AirDrop. But this is kind of uh, a nice little backup to have. Again, you need to do your research. So this pretty red one, I think, was a freebie. And as I was looking at the directions and, again, trying to review how it worked, I noticed it said, oh, compatible with an iPhone 5. Well, that wasn't going to help me with my present phone. So you need to look. This one also, uh, it works with devices I have, but it'll also work with a PC. And the reason I got this one is I had a client that wanted to transfer photos from her iPhone to her PC, but she didn't want to use the cloud. So this little device uh, is handy. And again, you need to do your research, see that what they're compatible with, how much storage they have, but it might be they might be an interesting little backup gizmo that you want to have just in case you're someplace where you need to transfer files or you need to more storage space on your iPad or your iPhone and you can transfer things here um, without electricity. That would have been nice for me when I was in a Africa and I got the message on my phone, oh, you're out of storage space. What are you going to do? Yeah, what did I do? Well, I bought more. But if I had this, I could have put my pictures on it. All right. Now, every time you get a device, you get often have to get some kind of connector. This one never even came out of the package. I never throw them away. I'm not sure what they all do. I know what some of them do. 
Um, this one connects to a projector from my computer, but sometimes things don't talk to one another nicely and they need an extra connector to connect cords and ports, etc. Now, when I was uh, teaching in middle school in the early days of the main laptop project, these were called dongles. Now, think about middle school, 13, 14 years old people, and you can imagine the jokes. Now, the thing about connectors you need to know, some of the new Macs do not have a USB port. And so you have to get another connector to connect things like your DVD player or an old backup um, external hard drive. So again, um, things change regularly and we need to keep up. Uh, like I said, I have a hard time throwing any of this stuff away, figuring it's sometime I'm gonna need to use it. And talking about things I never turn, throw away as far as gizmos and gadgets are cords. I have cords, I have no idea what they go to. You know, just have no idea. And, uh, but I store them and you never know what's gonna, when you're gonna use them. So for example, two years ago, I went on a trip with family and I bought an iPhone 10 and I bought it cause the zoom on the camera, which I like. Uh, however, it didn't quite zoom as far as I would like. So I bought myself a little uh, power shot, which has a much bigger zoom. And when I had taken the pictures, I wanted to connect it to my computer to download to photos and no cord came with the camera. So I went searching and finally found a cord that had the USB connector so I could put it in my computer and the right size little, it's not a lightning, I don't know what to call it. It's actually off um, an, an Android, uh, a very cheap Android tablet, but it fit the camera. So again, gizmos and gadgets, uh, think about some of the simple things like cords. You might want to find a place to store them uh, so that uh, you don't um, need, if you find yourself in need, you have a backup to go look for. Okay, moving on. What haven't I talked about yet as I look around? Oh, how many of you travel? You know, excuse me. Uh, you know when you go to overseas, not Canada, uh, but you go overseas, you go to England or you go to China or you go to someplace in Africa, their electrical system is different than ours. And so you really, you need some kind of com converter. And uh, there are all kinds, again, you need to do your research. Uh, this is off of a um, kit that I bought, and this one's for Europe, Middle East, Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean. Uh, but that's a little, um, it's a little disinformation because not every place in Africa or every place in Europe has the same kind of connector. So I went researching and I found this green doodad, and you can see it has all sorts of things, including a USB. I can release it, and there I've got the plugs for the UK. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's something on this side, and of course what you do is you plug it into the outlet on the wall, and then you can uh, plug in your computer. So again, if you travel and if you're not a seasoned traveler, one of the gizmos uh, you really want to invest in is some kind of converter or plug. Now, the cool thing about the Apple um, plugs is a little square cube. That's the converter. So all you need is the plug that'll go in the wall, and so you can uh, plug your computer into that. 
Um, not all devices have that cube, and so not all, sometimes you have to buy a um, converter as well as the plug. So you need to do your research on that. Okay, we're coming to the end. I'm just looking around. I've got this whole mess in front. Oh, you know, if you like to take pictures, it's worth investing in a small tripod that you can carry with you. Your, your iPhone just snaps in there. This one uh, doesn't bend, but like if you're taking um, something that you really want to make sure is in focus and is sharp, if you put it on a little tripod, then if it's windy or your hands are shaking, you're not going to mess up uh, the smoothness, the sharpness, the crispness, crispness of the photo. So consider a little tripod. They also have these that are Gorilla, and what's cool about these is these can wrap around. So I could put this on a fence post, and again, I would just have to use the little doohickey that would uh, screw right on there to put my camera in. So again, if you like to take pictures you and don't have a little tripod, uh, you might consider it. These, by the way, these connect these um, holders also will screw into a full size, uh, a full size tripod. So if you have a big one and you want to lug that around, you can do that. All right, we're coming to the end. There's one last, let me put this stuff away. There's one last gizmo gadget that is my absolute favorite. And it's my Apple TV. This plugs into my television and through it, I can be, well, cause I don't have a smart TV. So I just can't go out on the internet like some of the smart TVs do. But with Apple TV, I can stream directly from the web but I also, if some things uh, don't go through Apple TV, I can uh, play them on my iPad and then the Apple TV will mirror my iPad screen to my big screen. So it's often how I watch uh, movies. These aren't super expensive. They're, um, I don't know, I think this one was like 125 but I have used it for a couple of years, and so, whoops, it is well worth the price. So Apple TV, a way to mirror your screen, your uh, iPhone screen, your iPad screen, your Mac screen, to your big television. I have a friend that um, he does all his work on an iPad, he has an external keyboard, and I, and I said, well, the little screen would drive me crazy. What do you do? He says, ah, I use Apple TV, and I put the, I mirror my screen up to the TV, and it, I see my document very clearly, and that helps me make my changes and revisions. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to end with my wish list. I saw this online, and it looks like a pretty cool little gadget it looks like it's hard rubber and then there are all these little suckers and they will adhere to glass and different uh, surfaces and you can twist them so that you can again have a hands-free uh, holder for your iPhone now I have to confess I am a bit of an impulse buyer so I've already ordered it um, I'm not sure how it's going to work. It wasn't that expensive, and I'm not spending any money because I'm staying home, so I treated myself. So, if you're watching, I hope you will add whatever gizmos and uh, gadgets you think are necessary to have. Again, not exotic. Well, well, you can do exotic ones, but ones that you think that the everyday user might find useful. So, Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I hope that uh, you are finding good uses for your digital devices and that maybe you got a couple of good ideas today of a gizmo or gadget you might need. 
So bye for now. Uh, enjoy the weekend.